Today I'm going to talk about portfolios and, you know, how, how the heck do you make those? I remember when I was starting out trying to get a job as a comic artist or an illustrator or anything, I had no idea how to put together a portfolio. I got lots of advice from my art teachers in high school, but truth be told, I never applied to an art college. <laughs> or any kind of post-secondary program for art. So, I don't exactly know the ins and outs of a college application portfolio for an art program. However, I think all these general rules still apply, but I can definitely tell you about how I've put together portfolios to get illustrator jobs and comic jobs and graphic design jobs and I've also helped run an application process for an anthology where Bones and I have received a whole bunch of applications to make comics or illustrations. So I've, I've been on both sides, I guess. So here's my best advice on making an effective portfolio that will get you work. Number one, always fill your portfolio with art that you want to work on. If you're someone who wants to become a character designer, Fill your portfolio with character design work. If you're someone who wants to be a comic artist, fill it with comics. If you're someone who wants to do graphic design, fill it with graphic design. This sounds like really simple stuff, but it also goes deeper than that. I think when I started out, I was really afraid of like putting my own flavor of things into my portfolios. I thought there was like a certain specific way that they had to be where you had to put in like, you know, realistic portraits and hyper realism and still life and stuff. And my work just like, I like those things and I appreciate them as art forms. However, that's not like the kind of art I wanted to do with my life. Um, so it took me a long time before I actually put, like, my comic work into my portfolios, and I really should have from the start. And, you know, my comic work involves, like, weird horror stuff and LGBT smooching and, like, if that's what you're into, put that in your portfolio. Show the, show the person that you want a job, you know, if they're looking for horror and smooching, they're gonna love my portfolio. But if I fill it with, like, random stuff that I think think they'll want, then, you know, I'm not going to get hired for the right job. So always, always add your personal touch of projects that you're really passionate about into your portfolio. You know, show what you want to do and you will get those jobs that will allow you to do it. Number two, while it is important to show like all this really unique stuff that you really want to do, it's also really important to show your process work. Um, this can be anything from your studies you know, drawing from life, you know, doing perspective studies, whatever it is. This can also include thumbnail sketches. You can put in multiple attempts of the same piece showing how you built up to a final thing. For example, that's really easy with comic pages because you probably have your thumbnail sketches, your pencil sketches, your inks, and then your final colored version or finished version, whatever it is. Include all of that. That's really important because you want to show your employer or the college you're going to or whatever how you work. You're showing the, the editor or the employer how you think and how you work because they're going to want to see that because they're going to work with you. You know, they want to see that you can um, solve problems with your work. They want to see how you get from the initial idea to the final product because that's really important if they're going to be asking you to create things. They want to know kind of what you're thinking and how they can work with you. Like, you know, they want to see if you're someone who is easy to work with. You know, if I was hiring someone, I wouldn't want it to be a mystery on how they did everything. I'd want to see like how they do things. <laughs> so I know how to, you know, I can see if they'll be a great addition to my team. And number three, and I think this is like one of the most important things that you can have in your portfolio, and that is you really need to understand what you're applying for. So for example, if you are applying to a college, you'll probably want to show a lot of process work. You know, a college wants to know you can learn and improve because that's what you're there at a college to do. Uh, they'll probably want to see lots of fundamentals like studying from life, perspective, landscapes, color theory. They'll especially want to see all your studies and stuff. And then I'm sure it really depends on what program you're applying to. If you're applying to animation, they probably want to see like all the animation stuff. If you're applying to a fine arts, they probably want to see more fine arty stuff. If you're applying to do graphic design work, you'll want to include things like typography or web layouts or email layouts or logo design. For example, when I was applying as a graphic designer for a bunch of like uh, startup companies, um, I 
I knew there was a really specific kind of illustration style that a lot of these companies used, and I put examples that I had of that into my portfolio. Um, it's really important to research the places you're applying. <laughs> um, and of course, only include stuff that like appeals to you, but it's still important to know what they are expecting. More specifically, this was something that was like, became very clear when Bones and I uh, worked on picking people for uh, one of our anthologies. If you're applying to say like a comic anthology, <laughs> make sure you include comic pages <laughs> because that is what they're going to print. They want to see that you can make the thing that they're, they're making, you know? And it can go even deeper than that. For example, say you're applying to like a cowboy western comic anthology. Make sure that you can draw horses and cowboy hats. <laughs> um, if you're applying for a romance thing, make sure that you can draw kissing and romantic stuff and include lots of it because like they can look at your work and be like, wow, this is great. However, you may be turned away because they're like, well, I don't know if they can draw smoochin' really well. You gotta be really specific for what you're applying to. So, that is my best advice. Be genuine to the things you want to work on, and you will find jobs like that. Make sure that you're putting in lots of process work because people need to know it when they're gonna work with you. And make sure that you understand what you're applying for and tailor your work to fit into that. There you go. I hope that helps. I really know that portfolios are nerve-wracking. Job applications, college applications, it's all really scary stuff, especially if it's like the first time you're doing it. Um, it'll get a lot easier, especially as you get more work and experience. You can put that into your portfolio and make sure that no matter what you're working on, if it is your passion project, your webcomic that you adore, or if it is a random school project, or maybe one of your friends got you to like design a logo for them, put all of that in your portfolio. Unless you do a piece of work and they tell you that you can't use it for your portfolio, put it in your portfolio. That's all I got. <laughs> you guys can do it. I believe in you. Go out there and get really fantastic art jobs and have fun doing it. I guess that's all I have. Um, if you ever need help getting inspiration or having a, a work buddy to chat with you while you're working on your comics, you can go check out our Twitch channel. Um, we stream Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays where Bones will be there to talk and work with you, be a, a, a buddy friend while you work on your comic. Um, so go check it out. There's a link in the description down below. And there's no stream today, but there will be one on Friday. So go subscribe or follow or whatever it is so that you'll know when the next stream is happening. I hope all of you are warm and cozy or cool if you live in a hot area. Goodbye!